In 1967, after the success of Mercury and Gemini programs, America appeared to be the leader in the race for the moon. Their next target was a bit ambitious to touch the moon and do it before the Soviets. Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chaffee were chosen for the first crewed Apollo flight with an aim to orbit the Earth and return safely. The mission was scheduled to be launched on 21st February, but before that, they had to go through a pre flight test. On January 27, 1967, the command module was mounted on Saturn 1B rocket on the launch pad just as it would be for the actual launch, except Saturn 1B was not fueled as it was just a test. At 1 pm, three astronauts entered the capsule to begin their test. For hours, they faced several communication failures and other technical difficulties. Grissom said, How are we going to get to the moon if we cannot talk between three buildings? At 6:31 p.m., a voltage surge with a possible short circuit was recorded in the control room. Few seconds later, astronaut White was heard saying, "In a matter of seconds, fire spread throughout the cabin." The cabin hatch could only be opened inward and was held closed by a number of latches. Under trial conditions, the hatches took at least 90 seconds to open, and the astronauts didn't have that much time. Nearby technicians tried to get to the hatch, but they were repeatedly driven back by the heat and smoke. By the time they succeeded in getting the hatch open roughly 5 minutes after the fire started, astronauts had already perished. After this incident, Apollo program was put on hold while an investigation was launched. It was concluded that most likely cause was a spark from a short circuit. The large amount of flammable material within the cavern including the large amount of oxygen allowed the fire to start and spread quickly. Over the next 18 months a number of changes were made to the capsule which included designing a hatch that can be opened outward and could be operated quickly removing much of the flammable material and using a nitrogen oxygen mixture at the launch these changes helped in avoiding future tragedies with a highly reliable craft that helped america land on the moon in 